here to talk about a few ongoing problems. Every couple of years or more, I have to go over the same problems because we have lost most of our history. I come down here too often and I look around and wonder who are these people. So many have left. So I have to start all over again, same problem, different person. Right now, one of the uh, one of the problems is the vans. Our assistants drive the vans to help out. So the IDPs are mad. It's almost impossible to take city transportation and meet the schedule. I don't know how many of you ride city transportation. You should try it. I don't know if you would want them on it. Assistants should not be doing anything to a van. They should pick it up. That's it. Professional mechanics should take care of the district vehicles, not us. In light of the problems we've had lately, I would think you would want only maintenance dealing with your vans. We are not bus drivers. They have different rules. We do this to help. We are working on this again together. We are speaking with the district on this. And some of these I bought, and this is how far back this goes when I talk about our history. Um, January of 07. Do not use your personal vehicles to transport students. If you use your own vehicle, say that your union employed you not to do so. And you can also choose not to drive a district vehicle to transport students. That's in 07. <coughs> March of 07. It's the same thing. That's what I'm saying. It's the history here is gone. Another problem. If you go on field trips, you should not have to pay for food, checks, etc. These expenses should be covered for you. You do not pay for them yourself. Remember, assistants are not to supervise classrooms longer than 15 minutes. April 07. There is not to be any district van driving training happening now. This is still being worked out. In the future, you if you drive the vans, you, we are not to check for or do any sort of maintenance on the van. This is not our job, not our responsibility. Once right. more, if you go on a trail fit, trail fit, trip, you don't pay. 07, and I'll tell you why I wrote this letter. Did you guys get our newsletter? The board used to get our newsletter. Good. Yes, I hope so. Uh, it has come to our attention the overwhelming liability of driving students in your personal vehicles, especially when work-related. It has never been a part of your job description. Out of concern and always wanting to be helpful to make goals, and I make sure goals and IEPs are met, you have taken on this responsibility, for which I am sure the district has been thankful for. Some of our members have already stopped driving their personal vehicles and had unkind remarks made to them, some bordering on harassment. We're looking into this. The district policy says you need $100,000, $300,000 insurance coverage and the paperwork proven it to drive students. You have to pay for this additional insurance out of your pocket. I know a lot of people already carry this amount, but not all may be able to afford this extra insurance if you do not already carry it. Many of you, you already work two jobs to make ends meet. One of our members was in an accident with students in her car. The woman who hit her got out of her car, made all kinds of allegations to our member about injuries and suing. Our member filled out the answer report. No one from the district called to see what happened, asked, are you okay? Are the students okay? Do you need any help with your private insurance? The district is not responsible. You are. You signed the paper saying you had the insurance. Of course, the district will be sued also. But it appears you are on your own. We are asking you to not drive your personal vehicle. So we will all be in unity on this. In this day and age, we cannot be diligent enough to protect all that we have worked for. We do understand the love and concern you have for children you work with and how hard this is for you, but concerns about this issue are hard to ignore anymore. I have asked the district to make sure administrators know this. Can we go to 07. And the reason these are in here so many times is because I get a phone call. I don't keep repeating it because I don't have anything else to say. Um, do not drive students in your car. Do not cover classrooms. The attached memo. Keep memo. Um, also remember, do not stay in classrooms for more than 15 minutes without a teacher or an administrator. That was uh, 2011. I was talking about it in 2007. 2011. Uh, oh, we'll get to the district payroll in a minute. Uh, 2011. 15 minute room coverage. This means occasionally an emergency, not every day, every hour. Real trips. Not students in your own vehicle. 2012. Uh, 2012. Do not cover classrooms for more than 15 minutes. This is a courtesy we chose to do. We do not have to do this. There should not be an 
everyday occurrence. This is a courtesy once in a while. Oh, here's one. The citizens are not allowed to do it to them. Field trips, one more time. Don't buy your own tickets. Uh, 2012, October, not to attendance. Only teachers do attendance. Anyway, as I said, we keep going over the same old thing. Every time, it's the bad old union. When we try to help, we get kicked in the butt. The same thing happened with being left alone in the classroom by themselves, which is against Ed Code. They used to be left alone for hours. That got straightened out. But every year, we have to send out the same notice. That goes back to that. It was brought up about past practice. Just because it was being done doesn't always make it right. It just keeps happening. Because people are afraid to speak up, and then some brave soul says something. I told Gail Isman once, when Team Player was brought up, that I didn't want to be on their team because they changed the rules too much, sometimes in the middle of the game. I know a team player. I played 33 years in the same softball team, coached 14... 15 years of youth soccer, one season of softball, and one season of soccer for the Mount Diablo School District. So I know what a team player is. And that nobody wants nobody wants to be thought of as not a team player. Team player for, player for the district means do it as they and don't question it. <coughs> now there seems to be a problem with extra time. I don't know how many problems there are. I haven't sent out an email yet. But one is too many for me. A member didn't get him him of December check because it had 30 minutes too much extra time. I hear it's four hours a month. First I've heard of this, heard it from a member. Maybe somebody should tell the workers this. So on this 10th check, overpaid, still doesn't have a check. The check was stopped payment on it. Because my suggestion was go take it, cash it, take your money out and give them the money back. Stop payment on it. Some of the other problems some of the, that, that's just some of the problems. These people need their money. Between the two of them, it was less than $20. It was 30 minutes overtime. I guess now that it's all questioned, one had 30 minutes, one had 30 minutes. One was 30 minutes um, because there was a problem. The other was 30 minutes because she was in a meeting. We try and tell, every time we try to do something, and it took too much time, got to check for 30, that's between the two of them, that's not even 20 bucks. They waste enough money around, don't get me going. <laughs> and now the, <clears throat> and now employees get a real shock, oh, new employees, they get a call last month, uh, in December from a new employee, was shocked about their paycheck. Been here, done that at this board meeting about, I don't know another business in the entire world that doesn't pay you from when you start and doesn't take money out of your check because you owe them money and you haven't even started. You've worked a couple of weeks and you owe them money? A new employee said, I wish they'd have told me that. I was expecting a check. So your new employees are complaining too, not just the old ones. Um, with somebody on payroll, try to explain to me, I've talked to this at board meetings before, anybody, can anybody explain that to me, how you go to work here and they take money out of your check before you even work a month? I would love an explanation on that. If you hold a check or you don't pay, you need to at least have the courtesy to call these people and go, oh, sorry, you don't have a check, and oh, by the way, we're closed one day a month, so you couldn't get it if we had it. Thank you. organization so that would end with the SEA. Ernie de Trinidad with DLAC. Um, next on the agenda